my very favorite sections uh, here in the Bodrum Museum. You see here different uh, shaped amphoras. Amph amphora actually comes from a Greek word, you know that. Amphi means round and phoros means portable. And you see one of the earliest examples from 14th century before Christ. So that's a Canaanite amphora and made out of mainly clay in those years, later adapted uh, to several different shapes and several different materials. But still in Turkey we use these, we name them testi today. So I'll be showing you the latest example right at the end. And what makes this section so important to me and so special for me is uh, my grandfather being one of the earliest captains in Bodrum in this town. Uh, he also contributed actually to the excavations uh, of these uh, amphoras as being a captain and uh, so I'm so glad that one of my family members were also uh, like in charge of the excavations for a while because he was a sponge diver before and uh, maybe uh, now in this uh, section some of the amphoras that they found uh, in the seabed are exhibited and that makes also this section so so important and special for me. This section houses many of the uh, amphoras that are brought to the museum by the sponge divers of Bodrum. So you see the, their names and uh, like Captain Mustafa, Captain Mehmet or Captain uh, I don't know like Ender con con contributed in these uh, excavations. And please take a look at the years, 5th century, 4th century, they were always using these amphoras uh, to just store their olive oil, their wine. Uh, right on the first map we saw the wine producing centers uh, and always Anatolian, western shores of Anatolian land produced high quality wine and they were shipped throughout Mediterranean to other islands and Crete and Rhodes and uh, Cyprus have always been important islands. So yeah, uh, what I've been talking about, a gift of Captain Ali Gönül uh, from Bodrum. So he actually uh, was the one to find this particular amphora mm -hmm. and uh, they just placed his name here right and saying a gift of him. So this is what I wanted to mention. Mm -hmm. uh, the excavations are continuing all together with the local people here mm -hmm. and um, just bringing out the world heritage from the seabed. So we're approaching little by little to like the Roman period look, for instance, second century AD, first century before Christ. So this is the timeline of Roman Empire. So Romans starting uh, to control the Mediterranean trade. And that's the way they place them on their boats, actually. Second century AD, that, that's most probably, they wanted to show us a Roman ship carrying the cargo. Can you imagine they're like 3,600 years old, some of them? It's amazing, they're still here in front of our eyes. And thanks to A&M Texas, uh, A&M University from Texas State in the US, uh, George Bass contributing to all these uh, excavations in Turkey and he's considered to be the father of uh, nautical archaeology. And with his uh, work and with the contributions of people from Turkey, uh, we have this museum here. So I'm so proud to be able to show that to you today.